Hi everyone, so prom season is just around the corner, but in certain areas, it's already happening. But in this design here, I am creating a sparkly nude design. So if you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. So first off, I'm taking Glammy Glitz Dare Chic Glows. And this is just an off-white color that I'm going to be applying to the tip of the index finger. And the reason why I'm, I am applying this color is because I don't want the tip to be clear and I don't want it to be an extreme white color. So this is the reason why I'm going in with this off-white. Now I'm taking Vanilla Shine from CJP. And I am going to basically apply that by the cuticle areas but, but not getting it on the cuticle. And I am just blending that color down all the way towards the um, free edge of the nails. So basically, I'm just fading the color, both of the colors together. And if I felt that I needed more of the off-white color, then I will go back in. But if I feel that it looks okay, then I'll just leave it. So basically, you just have to kind of look at the nail and basically see if there is a certain area that you need more color in or if um, it looks good like the way it is. Now I'm taking this holographic silver glitter and I'm taking a little bit of crystal clear from CJP which is just a clear acrylic and I am just applying that right by the cuticle area and I am blending that down towards the free edge also. So I don't want to bring the glitter down too far because I want that vanilla shine acrylic powder that we just applied on earlier. I want that to show also. So it's kind of like um, like there's like three fade going on, like a glitter fade and a, and a acrylic fade, kind of like that. <laughs> so for the middle finger, I am going with Birthday Sue from CJP and I'm applying this to the middle finger. And this is just going to be one solid color because this is the finger that I am going to put the Shirazi crystals and other gems on. Next, I'm taking Crystal Glass from CJP, which is, which is just a clear acrylic. And now I am encapsulating the glitter area of the uh, nail. And also encapsulating the free edge because um, the free edge was kind of thin because I'm using Glam and Glitz. So I only put a thin coat of it only. So yes, as you can see here, I am also encapsulating the edge of the free edge also. Then for my ring finger, I'm doing this same exact thing I did on my index finger, but instead here I'm reversing the design. So instead of putting uh, Glammy Glitz Dirty Glow, I think that's the name of it, instead of putting it on the free edge, I am putting it by the cuticle area. And as you can see here, I'm taking Vanilla Shine and I'm putting that by the free edge and I'm blending that up towards the cuticle area and I'm going to do the same thing for the holographic glitter so instead of having the glitter by the cuticle area I'm having for this nail is going to be on the free edge area so this is just the same design that I did on the index finger but just reverse Okay, so for the pinking finger, I'm just going in with Vanilla Shine from CJP and this finger right here is just going to be one solid color of the Vanilla Shine. So 
So I'm just applying this to the full nail. And since this is a strip powder, I do not need to encapsulate this finger. And I uh, forgot to mention the middle finger. Since I use a core powder, I do not need to encapsulate it also. So here you see me just using little beads and making sure that I have full coverage and building up a good apex. Then here since I use glammy glitz and since I use some holographic glitters, I'm going back in with the clear acrylic and applying that to the ring finger. Alright, so as you can see here, I am going in with my 100 and 180 grit file and I am first starting out with the side walls and also kind of like basically sharpening off the edges and then I'm going in with my, car my not, it's not my carbide bit, but my comb bit from Todak USA which will be listed in the description box as always and I am just going in and kind of filing it and debulking the nail. I'm also going to buff the nail and have the client to wash her hands and I'm also going to do the same thing on the rest of the nail which is going to be off camera. Now I'm taking my one door no wipe top coat and I am applying that to on all the nails. Next, taking my resin from Ocean Nail Supply, I am going to apply that into the middle and I'm just putting a really big crystal right in the middle. And I also got my crystals from Ocean Nail Supply. As I said before, everything will be listed in the description box if you are interested. And I am taking my wax pencil and I'm also picking up, <coughs> excuse me, some little white not white but like clear crystals silver or clear however you want to see it or call it but I'm picking them up and I'm using different sizes um, and I'm just applying that around the big crystal and basically I'm just creating a fade I also have a video of like different ways of applying your Shirazi crystal which I will link above and I'm basically doing what I did in the video I'm creating kind of like a fade design so other that, then I'm going back in with my one door no wipe towel coat and I'm basically sealing the Shirazi crystals and I'm having it here in the UV light. Now I'm taking this silver gel and this is from Light Elegance, the buttercream collection and I'm taking a small definer brush and I'm just creating a like half moon shape by the cuticle area and I'm just drawing some straight lines and doesn't have to be perfect it's just um, like little straight lines kind of like a gradient effect <coughs> excuse me but yeah so this is basically it so it's really easy and I hope that you enjoy this video or learn something and um, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here also like and comment below and I will see you on my next video thank you bye